Hi, I'm DJ Adam McCree, and I'm about to give you 10 reasons why you should not buy the Unison Audio MIDI Wizard VST. What is going on, peoples? So let me start off the video like this because I know Unison Audio and how they move, they're gonna try to copyright strike this video, and here's a warning to you. If you copyright strike this video, I promise you I will appeal it and I'm willing to take it to court and I have entertainment lawyers ready to fight this case. I promise you, you will not win. And with that being said, if you stand behind your product like you say in all these predatory advertisements and you paying people, cause this company does pay people, influencers, shout out to Chuki Beats. Ah, like, that's what I mean. I know you can just, like, I hear this and I'm so inspired. He was hype about a knife cord, a knife cord. You're talking about a professional producer. But with that being said, I wanna talk about this product here and the 10 reasons why. At first I was gonna do five, but you know, I don't know. It's a whole bunch of reasons why you'll see in this video. So with that being said, I will have timestamps. The main thing, I will keep my rant at the very end of the video. So the timestamps are built into this video. So don't worry about that. Let's start off with number one. It's pretty obvious, the price point. Number one, I mean, holy crap. We're talking about a 400 plus dollar VST plugin that does one single thing that other plugins that cost way less does better. I promise you, when I do this, you will understand. But what makes it even worse is when you do the installments of $150. For $150, you can get the Novation Launch Key Mark III and Trust me, it actually generates scales, chords, progressions, all of that stuff. We're talking about a freaking MIDI controller that can do that. So you don't even need any music theory whatsoever to use that. And it and that has its own negatives in itself. And that company in no shape or form has copyright striked my video that I have up, okay? But let's talk about the other things too as well. So show Vans in the comment section because I know you guys are pretty tired of these stupid commercials on YouTube. Let me know which ones you feel are the dumbest. So we're gonna begin with something right here, what is my second reason why, and I'm gonna go ahead and go into the piano roll. Now I've already done a full video on this and I'll have it at the top right of the screen and whatnot, but dude, you have helpers inside of FL Studio. This is not just in FL Studio, it's in Ableton Live, it's in Logic Pro, it's in every respectable DAW at hand. And there's even DAWs that are free, which I will talk about later. So, but yeah, you can pick out your root key, you can pick out which scale that you wanna do, and not only that, you have stamps too as well. So shout out to Chuki V for being so hyped about a knife cord. <laughs> If <laughs> you got that right here, you can just pretty much drop it in here and it'll fit to the specific scale that you have chose. Oh my God. Chuki, you gotta do better, my dude. But anyways, that's just the second reason. Uh, I'm gonna give you the third reason. And it's this right here, it's called Scalar 2. Scalar 2 is massively cheap. It's 50 bucks. So in comparison to something that's 450 plus dollars, oh, are you kidding me? This is well worth the money. I've done a video on that, of course. I've already talked about that. I'm gonna do a whole entire series on Scalar, by the way. And you can actually drag in audio and have that be read and pull up different chord progressions. You have built-in scales over here. Uh, you can type in a scale. You can type in different types, the feeling, the mood, different songs, production, artists, all of this stuff can be done in Scalar and so forth. Is it as easy as dragging and dropping? Absolutely, you can. If I was to go to a C major scale, I could just drag and drop all this stuff into here and organize it, go over the different voices, variants, all this stuff. But I'm not gonna get into more detail about that because I have a video on that. It'll be in the description box. Another one, which I have not talked about, which will be reason number three, would be this right here. And I need to talk about this company because they do a really good job. I'm very proud of their progression over the past years. This wasn't even available for Windows when it first came out. And this is Captain Chords. Uh, it comes with Captain Play, Captain Beats. You can even have drag and drop beats if you want to. Uh, you can do random scales. You can pull up VSTs. This is a VST that you can play and you can just use the sounds. 
Uh, I will need to do a video for this, but I'll just link their video in the description box. This is $100. This is only $100 and it comes with five different plugins and you don't need to know any music theory. Next one I'm gonna talk about is Core Composer. And this right here is just, it doesn't get any easier than this. All you do is pick out the chords, generate. You can pick out the different patterns and stuff like that as well. I mean, here you go. I've already just generated something out of thin air and I've done a video on this, several videos. So I'm gonna leave it at that. And this is actually a under a hundred dollars too as well. Again, just dwarfing the hell out of the MIDI wizard plugin. Are you kidding me? Funny enough, Unison Audio took their idea from this company. They actually took their MIDI pack from this company and then they took their idea from this company as well with Court Potion. And I have a video for that and it is much better than MIDI Wizard as well. This will enhance your progressions. This one right here is called Melody Sauce. Oh my gosh, from Eva Beat. Uh, this is actually something that I freaked out about and a whole bunch of people freaked out about, but at the price of $50. A lot of people say that this was built-in melodies and whatnot, and even if it is, it is still way cheaper than the MIDI Wizard, so it will qualify itself to being a much better product for the price point. Now, here's one I really don't wanna show people, but man, might as well. This one right here is Easy Keys. And this is their basic idea of trying to make their plugin like this right here. And this actually costs way less than that. You can add MIDI to it and all that stuff, but it has way more functionality than this. I have not done a full video on this because this is one of my favorite things to use in terms of melody, motivation, chord progression, all this stuff. But this thing is loaded. When I say it's loaded, it is loaded through ideas. Simple as just pressing play and letting it roll. Yep. And it fits all the criteria of what you want to do as far as like generating melodies and stuff like that on the fly. And you can change stuff where you can change different chords and stuff like that inside of here. That's the ridiculous part about it being able to go and transpose properly to do all this stuff. This is what MIDI Wizard wish it was. $71 to $179, I'm gonna say $179 at worst. This does way more than the MIDI Wizard, absolutely. And I didn't wanna bring it up, but this is the sauce. And you can drag and drop any MIDI in there and remix it, ridiculous. <laughs> I'm giving y'all too much. I'm giving y'all too much in this video. But I want y'all to understand that they be scamming y'all. Here's one that I haven't talked about in a while. This is Obscurium by Sugar Bites. We already know Sugar Bites comes up with some crazy stuff. So this is basically progressions again and all the stuff that you can do just by one button here. Really a synthesizer. So basically one key and you can build stuff up from here, change the pitch, change the scale. You have tons of scales in here. So you can really play it up and it's really deeper than that, but I'm gonna have to do a refreshment video of these different features for this particular plugin. So I do have an old one and you might get tired of it because it's long, but whatever. Now this one is MIDI Q and I've already done this one. It doesn't get any easier than this. They just use music theory with different shapes. I've done a whole video on this and it's by WA Productions. And WA Productions usually have really cheap plugins and then they raise the price of these a little later, but this right here was like at one time nine bucks or whatnot. The whole world slept on it. You can pick out scales and all that stuff and you can build whatever you want. But you know, I have a video on that. I'll have a whole review on that right there. This caught me off guard for sure. Then there's Cthulhu, which is a super duper classic. You have over thousands of chord progressions that you can go through. I mean, different baccarats, I mean, diatonics and just many different things that you could just, if, even if you don't know what the meaning of it is, you can explore that. And it has a built-in arpeggio. Of course, it's in an arpeggio mode right now. I mean, this is a really strong tool. I don't have a video for this specifically explaining Cthulhu, but there's tons and I recommend Steve Duda's. Then you have this right here, which is the MPC Beat software. And it's free, free, free. And all you gotta know is how you can bind this to your keyboard. Like I'm playing on my actual keyboard. Like, 
like mouse and keyboard. I'm just playing on there and I can just record stuff inside of this doll. You can use it inside of your other uh, DAWs of choice because there's a VST version. Uh, there's different progressions. I got over thousands of different progressions in here uh, that would sound jazzy all the way down. And I'm just using my keyboard right here. I'm just using it in keyboard mode. And I can just dive in and make beats all day. You want to see how many chords I got? Look, look at this. Look, it's crazy. Look at this. Look at this. Got I got, I got thousands. I got thousands. They were all free. They were all free. Free. And I bet a lot of you guys are like, oh, well, that's all for FL and MPC. I might be Ableton Live user. And they don't have that in there. Yes, you do. You have it right in here. You have arpeggios, chords, scales, all that stuff. I have a whole entire video where I made a full entire beat without knowing anything about music theory inside of here as well. And don't forget that I mentioned that there are other keyboards out on the market too as well if you are into MIDI keyboards. Matter of fact, right over here in this corner over here is the Push 2. Now the Push 2 is not cheap. It, it does cost money, like $800. I'm trying here. You got an iPhone, an iPad, like almost everybody in the world has? Well, guess what? There are apps available for this. This is Poly Playground right here. This is Poly Playground. This does not even cost anywhere near $20. And it gets even worse than that because there are tons of music theory apps that you can lock on. And I got a video on this. This is why I'm mentioning this, where you can actually have this and use this inside of your computer and it will make melodies for you for real, for real. This is Polyface right here. This app, ridiculous, ridiculous. You're gonna wanna slap the dust off that dude's face when he's talking about some MIDI wizard once you check out this app right here. This is for real AI. So tell me how you feel about this video. So as promised, the rant. The rant is gonna be epic here. So the main thing I really wanna talk about as far as Unis and Audio as a company, I just really didn't like the whole taste of how they advertise on many different companies videos on many different people's channels on many different uh, platforms the way that they use influencers to push something that is built inside of your daw are you kidding me like you can get scales in every single last one of your dolls and the main people that were pushing it has the built-in chord progressions in your doll in fl studio i mean seriously the scale helper the chord helper all of these things could be utilized easily and could just undermine that. Now I understand that there are people out there that are strictly just completely lazy and all they wanna do is just drag and drop uh, melody inside of there and that is a huge issue in itself because if you guys are just dragging and dropping a melody and transposing it up, transposing it down, dude, imagine if somebody does something with sheet music with that scale, dude, you're gonna get a lawsuit and it's gonna be outside of Unison Audio's hands because they're gonna wash their hands of that. You paid them the $65 for the MIDI pack, which was overly hype garbage. And then once you did that, you're gonna do the MIDI wizard, which is pretty much the exact same thing as generating chords from their MIDI pack that they stuffed and used a, a GUI that has a wizard doing ding, that on there. <laughs> and all of a sudden you're getting easy melodies and stuff like that. That is ridiculous. And I wouldn't put it past them to sit there and use what you call influencers, which people, a lot of these influencers have very bad taste in what they do. Uh, nine times out of 10, they won't even say that the video was paid for and they know they have been paid for it. If they was to release the MIDI wizard for a real price, because they have something called limited pricing and stuff like that, like limited licensing, like 3,500, more than enough to make them a million dollars. Like if that was at an actual price of like 50 bucks, because it's not even really worth 50 bucks. So it's kind of obvious the reason why that they're doing 3,500 licenses because once those 3,500 people get it, they have made their money. And that is just really disrespectful. It's really disrespectful from a whole bunch just giving people a sense of urgency, a whole bunch of advertising, 
on people's channels, including my own, you already copyright strike my channel and, and you're still trying to make money off my channel because my channel gets views is very, very disrespectful. But I think this company is just disrespectful, disgusting, and they think they are well above criticism. And when you have a company that's like that, that is willing to risk it all in scam culture and the times that we're in right now want to scam people still with something that is only probably worth about 20, 30, 40, maybe at the top $50 for a plugin. Dude, are you kidding me? It's ridiculous.